Hello everyone, my name is Kwan. This video is about WebGL tutorial. Today's topic will be Pac-Man running in 2D. So we use the four arrow on the keyboard to control uh, Pac-Man. When Pac-Man hit the wall, it will stop. Going up, going left, going up, going right. This video assumes that you have the basic understand uh, of a WebGL script. Uh, we will not go into detail. Uh, if you're new to WebGL, I suggest you go look at the, the tutorial that explain what is the shader and of the structure of WebGL script. Uh, we we not go in detail here. Here is a final script. Uh, I just skim over. Uh, we're gonna discuss in detail later on. This place is the uh, when you hit the uh, arrow key and uh, some action gonna happen. That's how we control the uh, direction of the uh, Pac-Man. This function uh, creates the hundred triangle that make up a circle, uh, which convert into a uh, Pac-Man. Uh, this is typical function of the uh, init buffer. Uh, and here's an initiator function which we will not go into detail in this tutorial. In this example, we will use the circle and turn the circle into a Pac Man. The circle is made up of 100 triangle. Every triangle has a vertex in the middle. So in this picture, uh, basically we have a 98 uh, triangle. Now if we push on 0 here, basically we have 100 triangle. Put 1 is 98 because we have upper jaw and lower jaw. Here we have 96, 94, 92, 90, 80 triangle. The opening is 20 triangle. And you can see that we can keep this pen to keep uh, make the mouth of Pac-Man chewing. If we push 25, we have half the angle because 25 for each uh, jaw, so 50. So the tri the circle is 100 triangle. Now we open 50 triangle, so that's why we have half circle. So that's a basic concept that we gonna create the Pac-Man from. So what is this number represent? This number represent the uh, missing uh, triangle not shown in here. So if we push zero, basically we get 100 triangle. If we push five, uh, basically we have 10 missing triangle here. Five triangle for the upper jaw, five angle uh, for the lower jaw. So the key it for creating the mouth of Pac-Man is this uh, command here. This command say basically uh, this uh, the starting uh, for for the upper jaw, and this is for lower jaw. So three is the v three vertex for the triangle. I give the example of this command. What happened when we set S? When S equals zero, uh, basically we show 100 triangle. S equal one, uh, we show 98 angle, and S equal 10, we show 80 angle. It's important that you understand uh, this because we're gonna vary S up and down to make the mouth chewing. A here is the. Uh, Create by this uh, command. Uh, basically, it contain 
100 triangle. The next thing we do is to make the uh, mouse of Pac-Man Chewy. Uh, in this script, um, here's the vertex code. Okay, uh, it's very simple. It has only one attribute x, y, and the color, the fragment color, it fixed uh, red. This was R red, blue, green, set to zero. Uh, this two command basically activate the WebGL 3D, which we not. Uh, do yet we do 2D it's essential that you learn the 2D first basically you learn to walk first before you can run with web chair okay uh, this function is initiator uh, you see in most most example I have this three command keep on repeating this command basically create a buffer uh, for now I just uh, for the vertex, I just put anything because we're gonna override uh, when when we begin to draw. R basically is an array contain 100 uh, angle uh, that make up the Pac-Man, and this is a function animation. Uh, this is loop animation. This is the time of loop. Uh, of course, I use Chrome. Uh, I'm going to use WebKit uh, request animation. If you use some uh, browser, you might have to change this. And this is a draw function, which is a main function. Uh, let me explain a little bit about uh, this uh, create circle vertex right down here. Uh, these two primary A0 and A1 right here, uh, that's the uh, center of uh, the uh, Pac-Man. So this um, vertex here is common to every uh, triangle uh, in a circle. Here we given the radius of a circle. Num right now we set 100. So basically, Pac-Man consists of 100 triangle. Uh, zero um, is the uh, starting angle. So we're going to change this. Uh, Zero here to when we when Pac-Man move into different direction. Now on the uh, function create circle, um, for every num here we create a three triangle. The first triangle uh, is the center uh, of every triangle, and. Um, the next uh, vertex is we increment the uh, angle. Remember the I change right down here. So for the third uh, triangle, we increase uh, I plus one and we keep on doing the same. So this command given 100 uh, num equal 100, you create three 100 triangle, and each triangle has uh, uh, six. Uh, number so so vertex here gonna return uh, array here it has a 600 uh, number in length now how do we make uh, the mouse of Pac-Man chewing to do that we uh, just basically uh, need this three command as it's a remember it's a missing triangle at the mouth of the Pac-Man so here we give the range of the S from 0 to 5 and we vary S up and down. So when S bigger than 5 we change, uh, we go down to 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. When it's 0 then we go change direction again, we go S to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we vary S up and down from 0 to 5. And this equation we make sure that S never get negative. Now, on this one, now, now we visit set 10. So we control the rate uh, of the mouse of Pac-Man. If let's say we uh, change that guy to 1, you will see that the mouse of Pac-Man gonna see refresh. Okay. We have the Pac-Man moving now. The next thing we want to move the Pac-Man to uh, the right side. 
and stop at the uh, boundary uh, of the canvas. So you keep moving and you stop. To do that, uh, we uh, add this command in. Uh, here is a command uh, that um, move the Pac-Man. So we uh, uh, we loop every vertex uh, in the Pac-Man, and remember that we have to move six, okay, six ver six a number of three vertices. Uh, this command uh, basically makes sure that uh, when uh, Pac-Man hit uh, the wall on the canvas, it will stop. So here we deal with X uh, coordinate, here we deal with Y coordinate. Okay, uh, we make the uh, Pac-Man move in the one direction. Now, the next thing we want to do is to to control it. So we uh, basically use the arrow key in the keyboard and hit. Right now, I'm hit on the left arrow, hit on the right arrow, uh, hit on the top arrow and bottom arrow. Before we can explain how the control work, uh, I like to explain how we change the mouse direction of the Pac-Man. Now, that come back to this equation uh, the, uh, when we create the uh, 100 triangle for the uh, for the uh, Pac-Man. And this number basically telling me where is stuck the angle. Right now, I stuck at zero, and that's what you see. Now, if I stuck at, uh, let's say, uh, up, then you will see the mouth start pointing up left side and toward the bottom okay. this starting angle uh, we just add right down here that's all we need to do We add the following uh, comment to detect the arrow key. So when the user hit the arrow key, uh, this comment uh, is activated. Uh, the first, if you're familiar with HTML canvas, and uh, you should be okay. If not, then you need to learn how the HTML canvas uh, interactive uh, command. So basically, we add the add even listener key down and the action. This is the detection. So every key in the keyboard that's a number associated with it once we detect that key then uh, for example on the left key when uh, the key when, he, when the user hit the key 37 function a left going to activate when in the function a left we basically create uh, we set the speed uh, which direction uh, pac-man gonna go and so we also, uh, also set the uh, where is the mouse going to pointing to? So every uh, function here has different uh, speed, direction, and different uh, direction for the mouse. This is a final program. Uh, we add some more command to uh, detect. Uh, when the pack mount hit uh, left wall, right wall, top and bottom wall. Thank you for watching the video. See you next time.